hello people it's um it's joan here this is your mentally incompetent artist um joan and i just wanted to pop in um and uh give you all an update so what's been happening since my last um uh video um well let's see um there has been a complete ban to all of my videos in Canada. Um, my videos are not allowed to be seen uh, in Canada, even though I live in Canada. And even though I have not broken any laws, um, aside from the odd profanity, profanity here and there, which if that's what they're banning my videos for, then uh, in all fairness, then uh, every single video on this platform where they're using profanity, those videos also need to be banned. Aside from that, as far as I know, I have not broken any of the terms and policies that I'm supposed to follow by using this platform. I am simply using the platform to speak my truth, and they can be proven as truth, and to defend myself um, against a group of people who have decided that it is their right um, and that they're within their power to come after um, in, an innocent person who have committed no crimes against them uh, and no crimes in general, much less them, but in the name of money and in the name of protecting themselves and to cover up their injustices, um, it is um, best to sacrifice an innocent person. So um, just based on what I revealed in my previous videos, um, someone or certainly a group of people um, has decided that the things that I have spoken about, uh, no one should hear them. Uh, and no one should see me, and um, and that's the end of that. Now, I am a little bit confused because if you have done nothing um, illegal, and if you know that what I am saying is uh, a grave injustice against you, why the cover-up? Um, and I, and I say uh, cover up because, by the way, happy Sunday, everyone. It is a beautiful Sunday. Um, it is, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's, I woke up this morning, it was absolutely beautiful and sunny. We had some beautiful rain yesterday, and we actually, we, I think we needed the rain because with all the fires and everything that's going on in the area, I think that the rain is really beautiful. And plus, I, I love the rain, I love listening to it. So that did a lot of healing for me. So, um, yeah, so aside from all the, uh, the blocking of my videos everywhere, um, there's still uh, gang stalking going on. Um, uh, I know that since I've moved back to my hometown, um, my, the places where I've worked, one particular place have been infiltrated by these people. Um, the places where uh, at least, one, again, one place where I've, I've volunteered um, that has been infiltrated. It, it, I, I, what, there's a, been a pattern of wherever I go, um, anything that I try to do to better myself um, is sabotage uh, secretly, and in behind, at least they think it's secret. Um, they'd like to think that it's secret, but um, I, I always somehow end up... Um, Leave, end up leaving the job or getting let go from the job or something happens where I feel uh, I'm not able to stay with that job or uh, it's, it's just sabotaged in some way, shape or form. And um, it's not going to, to stop me because I see, I see the reason behind it, It'll, although the reason makes no sense. I also understand who's doing it and why they're doing it. So um, 
that doesn't phase me. I just keep going. And it's been going on for so long now, uh, I'm pretty much immune to it. Um, God built me for, for resilience and perseverance. And so really what these people are doing is pretty much their wasted energy. Because when they do things like that, I how I've been able to heal myself is I, I first of all, I have to allow when, when, when I'm attacked like that um, by people who are really supposed to be my uh, friends, family, because that's where the, the, the attacks are coming from, uh, as well as their flying monkeys who they have hired or uh, connected with or network with to come after me. Again, somebody who's innocent, haven't done anything to them. Um, when they come after me with these types of attack, including their dark magics, their witchcraft, whatever it is they're doing, God shows me, uh, tells me, or shows me, or I recognize it intuitively, that's what it is. And then I simply take those dark energies and allow them to, um, uh, it, it has a lot to do with how you think about these things. You cannot either look at it as, uh, you, you first have to accept it for what it is. That's the first thing you have to accept, that these energies exist, that these people, I at least that's what I've had to do. I have to, I've had to accept that these, these that I have enemies, both known and unknown, although I have done nothing to, uh, to, to have reason for these people to be my enemy. I have done nothing to them other than be who I am, uh, which is a person who I speak the truth and the truth exposes them. So rather than um, admit to their wrongdoings and take responsibility for it, they choose to villainize me, to make me the villain, to hate on me because uh, in, I'm simply protecting myself. If somebody says, uh, you know, takes my image, takes my pictures, or uh, takes something that is going to ruin my reputation and they spread that all over the internet or in the dark web or use that to sign documents or use that to, um, to, to prove in a court of law that I am mentally incompetent and I know about that or I've come to discover that, they expect me to just sit on my ass and do nothing about that or say nothing about that. And at the times that I have tried to uh, seek protection or try to combat any of that in any way, shape or form, because those who are supposed to help me are involved. Uh, nothing is done. Nothing is done. So that forces me to defend myself, to try and find alternative ways, including using this, the videos on I upload to this platform, talking to people I come across, making sure because they have been working very hard to make sure that uh, they shut me up permanently. So I've had to take measures to make sure if that happens, what I leave behind speaks for me with names and uh, proof of what I'm claiming. So I have had to, um, I've had to pretty much be my own lawyer, my own judge, my own friend, my own mother, my own father, my own sibling, uh, because uh, a lot of those people in those positions are the very people who are attacking me, who have come after me to cover up their own darkness and their own crimes against somebody who's innocent. And um, it, and again, like I've said before, whatever, whatever crimes they believe I have done against them, they have not, they have not um, uh, come forward to me and said, "Well, you did this crime against me." Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here admitting to uh, what I believe has been crimes committed against me. Uh, and I know because I was mentally, I was uh, declared mentally incompetent in the court of law and I was not there. And those who know me, people I've met in my over six decades of my life knows, yes, I have struggled with depression, but no one can prove that I am mentally incompetent and if that was the case, I should still have been given the opportunity to appear in a court of law to disprove that or to have the court prove that otherwise. And so that was never done. That was denied me. And that is my claim. Um, 
and also they claim that it was done in the name of somebody gaining money. Thus my claim that I was sacrificed for money. So, um, <clears throat> uh, and as I stated before, I suspect that the reason why I have not been able to receive any help is because the people who are supposed to help me are also involved. Um, I, I put my trust and faith in the Most High, and I know that truth always prevails. Um, I have seen proof of that myself. Um, those who've been around a while know that light always wins over darkness. That's just how it is. Um, even those who uh, may be guilty or um, hiding in the dark or whatever it is that they're doing to deny me uh, the justice that I deserve, um, they will have to realize that fact one day. And even though they're working very hard, and even up until recently, to make sure that I'm not here to speak, <laughs> they have been working very hard to make sure that I'm not here to speak. Um, that is not going to stop the truth from coming out. It is not going to um, uh, stop justice from prevailing. And um, that's just, that, that is just the way it works. And there was a serious crime a serious injustice done against someone who didn't deserve it. I didn't deserve it, and I know I didn't deserve it. And I, I, I know that someone is going to, I have faith that someone is going to grow a conscience, someone who's well aware of what has happened to me, um, will grow a conscience um, and speak up and take steps to do something. That is my faith, that is my belief, because um, that is just, that's what I've had to, to, to go on. I've had to uh, go on my own faith and my own belief and my own strength, that in spite of what's happening around me, in spite, in spite of the attempts to make sure I don't speak, uh, in spite of all the sabotage, um, buying people here, buying people there, um, influencing people everywhere I had contact to make sure that I can find work, to make sure that um, everything, including like my, my, my phone, uh, the, the basics of life that I need to live have been infiltrated and tapped into and uh, me as the victim um, being investigated rather than uh, the people who have committed these injustices against me. I, I, I have, I, I know that I have been investigated when I'm, I'm, I'm the victim here, but I'm the one who's been investigated. Uh, someone who's never, don't even have a, 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 um, a speeding ticket on her license. Uh, I have never done anything. And yet these people are doing whatever they can to make it look like I have, to make it look like um, this is somebody that needs to be behind bars to make it look like what they have done, they were justified in doing it. How is that possible? I have no idea. Um, all I know is that I've, like I said, I've had to be my own investigator, I've had to be my own friend, my own judge, my own, uh, my own family. I've had to be everything to myself. And yet, even though I've had to be that to myself, somehow I was proven it was proven that I am mentally incompetent. So make that make sense. Make that make sense. And um, I, you know, I had to fight so much on my own. I've had to deal with so much on my own. I've had to look at people in the faces while I know they are there or put in place there to sabotage me, to look them in the eye knowing full well they were put there to test me, knowing full well to, to, to know that it was part of a setup and still work with it and still be the, the, the self that the Most High wants me to be, which is um, honest and to keep my integrity and to not let these people get to me. I'm not gonna lie, it gets tiring. It gets tiring. It gets boring because 
it's the same old thing over and over and over and over. The same attacks, the same, um, you know, cowardly witchcraft put into place to try and uh, make me uh, fall under their spell of, see, we told you she's incompetent. Look at her. She's losing it. She's, she's this, she's that. And it, it's not working because of the fact that I know what these people are trying to do. Uh, I heal, and I'll share, because I know I've had, um, some of you are curious as to how I've managed. You know, uh, initially when I first came back to my hometown, I did go through some counseling to deal with the PTSD, which I'm still dealing with. I'm still having to, to work with that. I'm still, um, the thing is, I'm not the person I used to be a few years ago. I, I, I have learned how to um, really uh, work with uh, my mind and how a person's mind can play tricks on them and how what you think. And I'm not talking about, you know, don't get me wrong, this is not, I'm not talking about my new age uh, or new thought beliefs, that's not it. I'm just simply stating how I uh, oftentimes find that what works for me to get through a day when I know that I'm under attack, when I know that um, why I didn't get a job or why I got a job but it was a setup or why every time I've put a business online to try and get that going, it's, it doesn't work, it's been sabotaged, the website's been blocked, um, you know, uh, my art site, which I, I you know, was using as a way to promote my art and sell my paintings uh people that i have proof of, of somebody trying to purchase a painting from me and that was blocked the person couldn't get the payment through to me and uh the payment system or the merchant that i was using to collect payments all that was blocked so even though i've had opportunities to be quite independent financially over the years that has been sabotaged for me and you know most most um mostly my 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 art because that's that's what i've done and i know you know uh in this neck of the woods art is not a it's not um unless you're really well known it's not a big way to make money but i've never done my art for money i've done my art because it gave me joy i did my art because it's it's my in my dna it's, I did my art because I was naturally good at it. Um, my my handle on my webpage was um, creative by nature. I am creative by nature. It is a skill and a talent that was given to me by the Most High God. I didn't have to go to school for it. I can paint and I loved it. And when I did it, it gave me joy and it made me feel connected to, to God. And it, it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. And you know, behind the scenes, someone went behind that, um, took my ideas, stole my, just sabotaged it to make sure that I couldn't make an income from it. And um, it, that pretty much applied to every other ideas that I've come up with that I've put online to try and be self-supporting to, um, because I'm pretty much like uh, an entrepreneur. Uh, at heart. I love starting businesses. I, I'm pretty good at it. I love uh, creating websites. I'm pretty good at it. Um, I, I mean, I don't know the technical or the technicalities behind it. I don't know the IT behind it, but I, I, I know how, I know art and I know how to design. And I've pretty much tried to put that into place to make an income, to make a living, to uh, be self-supporting. But um, it's been it's been an uphill battle and I've pretty much done it all by myself uh, from I've been on my own since I was 16 years old and um, my income uh, has pretty much been my art and uh, I believe when I when my son my late son was alive I was on uh, government assistant uh, and I was supplementing that with whatever I could do with my art and the odd jobs here and there. Uh, I, I was never a white collar worker. I pretty much was always a blue collar worker. I, I love um, getting my hands dirty. I love construction. 
Um, I pretty much started out working with my ex-husband in the welding uh, uh, industry and as a, a laborer. And I, I, I kind of love that kind of, um, yeah, blue collar work. So, uh, and I've never been money hungry. So uh, I've always been like, okay, as long as I can, you know, pay, pay for a place to live and I have food to eat and clothes to wear, I'm good. Uh, that's not where my happiness comes from. My happiness doesn't come from having money. It comes from elsewhere. And I'm not going to go into the detail where that is because um, the powers that be and those who hate my guts, that's what they want to know. They want to know what is her weaknesses so we can tap into that and destroy that for her. And so I think that's why a lot of them have not been successful in um, really destroying me because they think that I put my my that where I look for joy and happiness and contentment is in material things. That couldn't be any farther from the truth. That's their goal. Their their mindset is let's see how much money I can steal, let's see how much money I can make, and let's see, see how, who has the best car, the best house. Uh, just things that you cannot take with you when you go. And I'm the opposite of that. I don't look at those things. Um, I, I look at life more from a spiritual angle where I see um, how I can connect to the Most High God from the simplest form. And that sure as hell isn't money. So these people are doing what they're doing to me uh, is a wasted energy because they're doing it for money, which, you know, I can take it or leave it either way. But um, it's, it's, it's the principle of the thing is, is how they went about uh, making me look small, or at least trying to. It's how they went about um, destroying uh, at least two people I can I have in mind. One about destroying my reputation, stealing my identity, uh, making me look like I'm a horrible, horrible person uh, to people that they speak to, people who don't know me. Um, going through my contacts and, and making sure that the people who I do know see me in a, a very, very different light than what they thought they knew, which is so untrue. And what was um, painful about that is that people who did have contact with me, the people who, um, uh, you know, can say, okay, yeah, I've, I've been around her a little bit, I know her, never approached me and said, hey, you know what, I heard this about you. I, I'm having a hard time believing it. Is it true? You know, or uh, I saw this, this this picture or or you know something an email was sent to me not a single person uh some of them i considered friends of mine no one ever approached me and said i heard this where there's this rumor going around no one ever made any attempts to get my side of the story in the same way no one came to me in a court of law to try and get my side of the story. Uh, there was a, na a narrative that was created and uh, people were manipulated into believing that and they went with it. And, um, you know, the, the hopes was to completely isolate me. Because, I mean, if you have 10 friends and those 10 friends were all of a sudden convinced that you're a demon, then, yeah, that's, most people would and naturally feel isolated by that. You went from having 10 friends to none. So, and don't get me wrong, it's not like that didn't affect me. It, it did. But what, how it helped me is that I had to take an incident like that where somebody um, defamed my character to the point where I lost all my friends and take that, take that whole experience and transform that into uh, my own healing because I had to learn what, how to live without friends. I had to take that energy and transmute that into, into realizing that life uh, it, uh, continues. Even if you, you have to be your own friend is what I'm trying to say. You have to become your own friend when you have no friend. And uh, the, the, the alternate or the alternative to that is to be completely reliant on other people to, 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 to emotionally be who you need to be for yourself. So they actually did me a favor when they when they they um, ruined my reputation and caused people to walk away from me. I had to go inward and I had to learn how to be my own friend. And I had to learn how to be my own family. And I had to 
uh, I already was used to surviving on the bare minimum. So even though they were causing me to lose jobs or they were causing me not to get jobs, even when I was looking <laughs> diligently to try and find work, um, I was already used to living on the bare minimum. So that didn't really affect me. Um, but there's other things that they have thrown in the mix that I had to transmute and I had to do that in order uh, so that they didn't get what they want, which is to um, uh, keep me uh, isolated, keep me um, sick, keep me depressed, keep me weak, keep me delusional. Everything that they are, that they're about to be, that is what they worked diligently to make me become. And I had to put the work in. I had to put the work in to heal from that and to, like I say, become everything to myself that they took from me, including my self-confidence. That was taken. I had to rebuild that, uh, my self-esteem, uh, everything about myself, which is the irony of it is, is that a lot of the websites that I tried to put up in the past was about me trying to help people look at themselves, to see themselves as their own friend, to, to build their strengths through going inward. And this is what these people are working behind the scenes to destroy because that's what I'm offering. That's my spirituality. That's what healed me. And that is what I had uh, mentioned briefly in my last video, how the very thing that helps me to be who I am is what they're destroying. That's what they hate. They hate that I, they, they are spiritual haters. They hate that I seem confident. They hate that I seem like I'm riding on a high horse. In fact, I've heard, I've heard that they pretty much want to knock me off my high horse when what they're looking at or what they're perceiving uh, as me being on my high horse is me coming back from, uh, I'm crawling out of the hole that they had dug for me and placed me in and covered the hole and, and laughed and joked and celebrated that I will never get out of that hole. Now, what has shocked them is the fact that I did crawl out of that hole. I did manage to crawl out of that hole. I have no nails as a result of that, crawling out of that dirt hole, and then having to build myself from ground zero up again to the point where I was able to post a video to say, you know what, this happened to me. These people did this to me. And imagine, I can just, in fact, I felt the energy of these people. When I posted that video, I was actually feeling the energy of them watching that video and saying, what the F? I thought we got rid of that piece of shit. Excuse my French. So it, it took a while for me. I knew it for a very long time. But, um, and, and, you know, that's it's how I was able to finally get to the point where I could see it and speak about it. It's another video, but um, I just, um, I just, like I said, it's, it has not been an easy road to hold. Honestly, it has not been easy. But I, I know who I'm dealing with. I know um, that it's just a matter of time that they are dealt with. Uh, I know that they're still coming after me. I know that whether I'm here or not, they will be held accountable. Um, I know that I have no fear of them. I realize that my face is, you can clearly see my face, so I'm no coward. Um, those who are behind the scenes who are hiding, they are the cowards. Those who have come up against uh, an innocent person uh, without cause, without provocation, without... Um, uh, just out of greed and envy and jealousy, and they're the ones who are hiding. They're the ones who refuse to take steps to make sure that justice is done. I'm simply out there, at least trying to be, uh, for the mere fact that they are uh, blocking my videos on this platform, making sure that no one sees my videos, and the only people who are actually seeing my videos are them, and the few people whom I happen to send the link to to make sure that at least somebody who knows me is aware that I placed all these videos on YouTube and for what reason, why they're not being seen, that will come out later. So I, I just feel like, um, I feel like I don't, I, I don't have the answers in terms of how much longer uh, these people are going to continue to uh, obstruct, uh, obstruct justice, uh, how long they're going to continue to attack me, how long they're going to continue to try to block me, 
uh, but it, the, all those things are still put in place. And I'm sure because they want to continue to cover up what they're doing, they will continue to plan and scheme. And I expect that. I expect that. Um, but, you know, I don't have the monopoly on people who have had uh, gross injustices done against her. I'm, I don't have, I'm not the first, nor will I be the last. But all my life, I've had people do stuff to me and never said a word. And I really believe that these people are helping me to learn a lesson. And I want to thank you. My, my toxic enemies, my toxic karmics, those people who are out there trying to destroy me, I really thank you for helping me to build my strength, to learn about transmuting uh, those dark energies that you send my way, to turn them into something beneficial uh, that will serve me, that will strengthen me, that will help me to heal, to continue to heal, to realize that it is my responsibility to heal. It is regardless of what you throw at me. It is still my responsibility. Rather than sit down and play the blame game and the woe is me, I can say, okay, so I've just been spiritually attacked. Or, okay, I should have gotten that job, but somebody uh, was paid off to make sure that I don't get the job. Or, or just whatever it is that you know what you've done. You know what you've done. And um, I've seen what you've done. And I will just say to that, that all I can do is when things like that happen is, first of all, I have to see it for what it is. And what I did in the past is I, I allowed those things to make me feel sorry for myself and I would end up depressed and depressed and depressed and depressed and depressed and gave you ammunition to keep me in your power. And all I've done is just said, okay, I'm going to have a different mindset about that. I'm, uh, and, and even when you're trying to manipulate the energy so that I don't think positive, uh, I've grown to the point now where, again, I just recognize it for what it is and I transmute it. Uh, I'm not here doing what you're doing, uh, which is uh, using energy manipulation to keep me down. Uh, I am simply, I recognize it for what it is. And I do uh, my meditation. I sit down and I talk to God and I say, okay, so this is what I, I knew I had that job. I knew I was supposed to get that apartment or I knew I was supposed to, uh, my, 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 my website should be doing better than this right now. And I know why um, my, those pages are being blocked. I, and I, I, I know exactly who who is do or getting paid to do what and why they're doing it. It's again to sabotage me to make sure that I get nowhere in life. But what you don't realize is that that's not up to you. It's not up to you. And imagine all the energies that you have expended to destroy me and to make me look a certain way to the public or to your friends or to those in higher power or to those who should be um, using their positions to make this a better world. Imagine if you had used that energy to better yourself, to because you're obviously uh, very powerful people. Imagine if that uh, power was working for the good, how this would be a better world. Um, and people who really need help would get it. And as a collective, uh, this would just be a better place to live for everybody and nobody would have to lose and nobody would have to feel pain and nobody, it would just be a better world. But instead you're using, you're, as a collective, I mean, I'm, again, one person and a group of you have come together and decided that we're going to destroy this one innocent person because, okay, we've done something here. We shouldn't have done it. We did it. And now we have to protect our arses. And we would rather do that. We'd rather protect ourselves and be selfish and greedy and all those things uh, and let an innocent person go down. Okay, I'll leave you with that and see where that gets you. I will, I will leave you with that and see where that gets you. But in the meantime, even though I know that's, I know that's what's happening in the background, my focus is to stay healthy on all levels, not just mentally, <laughs> not just mentally, but physically, psych especially psychologically, because I know that there's some psychological games going on here. And I'm not the person I used to be. Like I said, these things have been going on for some time, and I just would sit down and feel sorry for myself and not say a word. 
and feel, woe is me, and why do I deserve this, and blah, blah, blah. I don't do that anymore. And when I stopped that, it was only when I stopped that, when I stopped that, there were no more hospital visits for me. Uh, I didn't have to rely on the system. I took responsibility for my health. And rather than support that, rather than uh, say, wow, look at what she did, you decide to come after me. You decide to come after me, to hide your own illness, to hide the fact that you're the ones who are mentally incompetent. You're the ones who are mentally sick and unwell. If you could do something like this to an innocent person, that's not mentally, that's not mental health. That's not somebody who's mentally healthy who would do that to an innocent person. So I see y'all as just projecting uh, your, un, uh, your darkness onto me and I'm not buying it. Uh, I'm going to continue to do the work to take responsibility for my own health, to take responsibility for, um, for myself, um, to do what I can to uh, to fight off your attacks, even though they keep coming every day, I have to deal with something different. And, um, you know, um, I know my purpose. I know that I'm not alone, even though you would love for me to believe that. Um, I know, I know who I am, is what I'm trying to say. I now know and recognize who I am, and for years I didn't. And those years when I didn't recognize who I am, those years that I was in that pity party club with y'all. I was taken advantage of. Uh, I lost my power. I had no confidence. I had no, I had nothing that identified me as the, 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 the sentinel, as the person, as the being, as the spiritual being, as the human being that God made and put here and have a right to be here um, to do her thing just as you do. So while you're all out there working together to make sure that I don't exist, just know that a power that is higher than you is watching not just me, but it has eyes on you. And again, you will be held accountable for these injustices. And again, I encourage those who still have a conscience to step forward and to make this horrible wrong, to right it to correct it. That is, the, that is the best way for all of us to move forward and to heal. And uh, I have already forgiven you all. I, I, why? Because forgiving is part of my own, it's just part of my own healing. I have to do that in order to not succumb to what y'all have trying to be, uh, to, to do to me. Um, because if I dwell on it, and I allow it to affect me, then I'll be right back where I was when I was, you know, um, depending on on, on uh, a, a Prozac or I don't even remember the name of them anymore, but you know, when I would run to a doctor for a pill or when I would, would lay in bed for days and feel suicidal or, you know, when I had no self-confidence, when I had no self-esteem, uh, those things are things of the past from years ago. And the fact that you guys are working so hard to put me back there tells me a lot about you. And uh, I will fight tooth and nails to make sure that you do not take me back there. And the, the, the fact that you went into a courtroom and you know who you are, at a time in my life when I was coming out of that, when I was doing so well, when I was, I think I had just graduated from college for peace sake, at the, time, the, the fact that you chose that time to go into a court and to try to prove, not try to prove, but I know I, I already, I won't get into that again. My other videos have already outlined how you did that, but, and you know how you did it. Uh, but whatever you did caused someone to believe, at least to a certain extent, uh, that yes, she is mentally incompetent and therefore will give you a shitload of money and you can move on with your life. How you did that, you know how you did that. Um, and you certainly were not alone in doing that. But I refuse to match that narrative. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is, is that the truth is exactly the opposite of what you presented. And that is what you don't want to admit to. And I will leave that uh, with you and God. 
And I was going to say your conscience, but no one with a conscience would do that to an innocent person. So I'm not going to include the conscience here. But I will still leave that with you and God to sort that out and continue to work on myself because that's all I can do. I use rather than use my energies to focus on you and what you're doing to me, uh, although I see it every day, I use my energy to be the best person I can be. And that's all I can do. And that's what I that's what I continue to do. So no matter what you take away from me every day, no matter what you throw at me every day, uh, I just say to God, okay, so how can I move on from here and how can I continue to be the best person I can be? And if that offends you, that is not my task. That is your problem. And that is uh, what, that's the movie that you're playing in your head. That's what you're projecting. And I refuse to be a part of it. And I continue to do whatever I can to stay away from toxic people. There is a way, there's a reason why I walked away when I did is because I had already made up my mind that I'm not going back there. I'm not going back to that dark place where I used to be, where I spent most of my life. And I'm not going back to where y'all are, which is still in the dark. So um, I'm, I, I'm sorry, not sorry if that offends you. That is your task. And that is what you need to, to, to deal with. In the meantime, just know that whatever it is that you have done to me, it's already been dealt with. Whether you choose to deal with it or not, it's already been dealt with. And whether I'm here to see it or not, it will still be dealt with. So I wish you all a blessed day. I'm going to go enjoy the sunshine and happy Sunday. Bye.